Secretary of State Antony Blinken is co-hosting a food security summit on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. Top UN officials have warned that drought, rising global commodity prices, the impacts of COVID-19 and Russia's invasion of Ukraine could trigger famine in many countries. BOA senior diplomatic correspondent Citizen reports. The United Nations says more than 800 million people worldwide are suffering from hunger right now. An increase of more than 150 million since the COVID-19 pandemic began. On the sidelines of the UN General Assembly on Tuesday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said President Joe Biden would announce robust new assistance from the United States. Blinken said another way to support hunger relief was to push for an extension of the deal the UN brokered between Russia and Ukraine, which allows grain to be exported from Black Sea ports. And as you've heard from my colleagues, despite some of the misinformation that continues to come from Moscow, that grain and other food products are getting where they need to go, to the countries most in need, predominantly in the Global South. Um, it's also helped lower food prices around the world. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said the deal is not working, and he blames Western sanctions on Moscow for food and fertilizer shortages instead of his own invasion of Ukraine. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez said Putin is trying to blackmail the world with food. We're running out of time. If farmers don't get fertilizers at the right moment, poor or even lost harvest will continue to worsen the situation. We must arrive on time. And let me be clear, there is no peace with hunger. And we cannot combat hunger without peace. Ukrainian Infrastructure Minister Alexander Kubrakov told VOA that Ukraine is resuming grain exports to Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, and other African countries that need it the most. For us, it's just to, to increase volumes of our export. Uh, August, uh, uh, results of August were quite optimistic. We reached almost 5 million, ton, million tons. It's uh, very similar uh, volumes which we had before the war. Blinken said the U.S. is also looking to help boost agriculture in Africa in the long term. Many of our African colleagues especially made clear that as much as they needed emergency relief, what they really needed was more investment in agricultural innovation, sustainability, self-sufficiency. I am convinced from the time that I've spent recently in a number of countries in Africa, the capacity is there, but it needs help. Blinken visited South Africa, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Rwanda last month. Cindy Sane, VOA News.